I'm sure you notice that this is a very busy place that we are. Yes, of course, it's a campaign trail on Constituency Watch here on City TV. Politicals, to be specific, with me, Umaru Sanda Amadu. So what we have done today is to come and sort of ambush Dr. Zanetta Ajiman Rollins, the woman who wants to be the first female member of parliament for the Klote Kole constituency here in the Greater Accra region. The woman who, after June 3rd, popped up on the scenes, and before we could say Jack, she had toppled the incumbent member of parliament, Ni Ama Ashite. She's my guest on Politicals. You're welcome, madam. So it came as a surprise. Many didn't really know you were into politics. I mean, of course, we all know that the founder of the National Democratic Congress, uh, Jerry John Rollins, the former president of the Republic, is your dad. Your mom is very active in politics. You haven't been there. All of a sudden, you popped up after June 3, and now you are the NDC nominee. How is it feeling like? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and um, that's what it always was about. I'm sure, you know, you remember when we started with the June 3 um, disaster project. Uh, there were a lot of things that I had the opportunity to see firsthand and I just realized how how little we needed to put in to make a big difference and it was something that just stayed with me to be very honest um, this was not this was not what I saw myself doing a year from June 3rd um, a year on but um, sometimes when when you're approached to take on a leadership role because people have confidence in the fact that you can do something and you have the opportunity to do so. I think there's a responsibility beyond merely just saying that, yes, you'll go ahead. You do have a responsibility to do your bit to make a difference and that's really what this is about. Now you are very much involved. So some would argue that the NDC had held this seat for two times already. You are coming on the ticket of the NDC still. So what different thing are you bringing that the incumbent MP could not bring. And if the incumbent MP could not help the constituents, what difference would you make? It means it's a failure of the NDC in totality, including you. Um, I don't like to give a blanket judgment on people or things or on issues. And therefore, I would beg to differ on your, your judgment on this. Um, I think the nature and the beauty of democracy is that if you have a choice of whom to pick, you go ahead and you make that choice and whatever emerges as what the, the, pub, the majority of the people want is what you have and that is actually how this has played out. Um, I think that um, it, this, this, this campaign goes beyond merely partisanship. I think that what has happened over the last year is there's been a realization that the work we're doing is not done on a partisan basis. We're doing things and we make sure that it involves everybody. The bridge that we just uh, commissioned in, in Osu was not a bridge that was done specifically for NDC people. The whole community benefits. The, the road that we are, we are doing in Abuja market is not going to benefit just NDC people. It's for the whole community. It hasn't been done, it's being done. And, so you're and the issue, developmental projects? Yes, yes. Even and before becoming an MP? That was, that was what I committed to do. Because um, for me, I don't think that if you have the chance to do something right now, you should wait and do it later. The, the truth is, nobody knows what tomorrow holds. So if you have an opportunity to do something good today, why wait till tomorrow? But some argue that Member of Parliament is not supposed to engage in developmental projects. Your job is to make laws for the country. As a you member... Stretching your bond. Well, you know what? There are no perfect boundaries when it comes to human inter interrelations and human activity and the responsibilities that we have as citizens of the country. And if whether or not you're in a position as an MP or as a, a member of the assembly or as a member of the clergy or whatever the role that you have that is your prescribed role. It does not mean that if you have the opportunity or you have the means of facilitating more than what your role says you, you can do, you know, that you shouldn't. And this is just one of those things. It's, you know, where the opportunity comes and you're in a position to do something, you go ahead and do it. You'd help because it's like a team. You know, sometimes the defender might not be able to do his role perfectly. So you have other members of the team coming in to support. And that's, that's the idea of teamwork and that's the approach that we're looking at. And that's why we have our motto as Together We Build, because it's an all-inclusive approach. You, you want to be MP. Before you become an MP, you need a lot of people to vote for, you need a lot of support. The incumbent MP, who is also an NDC member, hasn't openly declared support for you as yet. How challenging is that for you? 
Um, I think ultimately the people will be the ones to decide that and um, we've had a lot of um, positive positive feedback not just from people within the NDC there have been people who decided they they never were going to vote and they are going to vote this year and it's because they've seen that there's a vision that we're bringing and we um, we mean we mean what we say we will do um, personally I'm not making promises that I know I can't keep and um, when people ask me things I tell them what I know and if I don't know I say I'll find out what are you doing to bring him under your foot um, I don't think I can bring someone under my fold. He's, a, uh, he's an adult, he has free will, and he has the choice to actually declare his support or not. But it's not for me to bring him under my fold. Have he's, you requested? An, oh, <laughs> I think you'll understand that this being politics, of course, everybody is hopefully you know, going to come on board and hopefully support the cause. You are going against a lawyer, Philip Addison. You are even going against Nino Norte, a former constituency chairman of the MPP. You have two persons to fight. Is that going to be an easy battle? Um, no, I don't think, I don't think that um, I'll say anything is easy, but um, I don't think it's something that's such a big challenge that it can't be overcome. Very well, so we are on the campaign trail. A lot of constituents are here watching you as we speak. Yeah. Quickly, what are you going to say to them? And you can say that in Ghana if you so wish. Um, I think I'll, I'll say my message both ways. Um, first of all, this being an election year, it's important that we remember that there should be that self-respect, that mutual respect as well. Um, the fact that we're engaging in partisan politics does not mean that we should engage in, you know, the, the politics of insults. You know, you can agree to disagree without being abusive to somebody and that's what we are hoping to promote, that we can engage in a, a discourse of whatever form without necessarily descending into the abuse. So my, my urge is that uh, uh, you know, I would reach out to people and say, let's make it a peaceful process. Let's make it a peaceful process. And um, on the day of election, you call people out because um, someone might stay home thinking somebody else is going to do it. Apathy. Yeah, so we need to just make sure that we get everybody on board, we get everyone involved. And um, on the day of election, we, we vote for President John Mahama and then vote for In a Dr. second, Vanessa how do you say Edmund that in Rawlings. Ghana? Well, in short, um, well, candidate, I believe. Have you been given the clearance to go? You're a candidate now, right? Officially by the Electoral yes, Commission. Yes, yes, so yes, she yes, is yes. a candidate, no more a nominee <laughs> for the NDC here in the Klote Kole constituency in the Greater Accra region, the constituency in which City TV and City FM are located in. My name is Paul Umaru Sanda Amadou, sorry. My name is Umaru Sanda Amadou. This has been Politicos. We'll be back on the campaign trail next week and never know, we could be in your community and we could be asking the next member of parliament or the one who wants to be the next member of parliament for your area, the right questions and elicit the right answers. Thank you so much for joining us on Politicals and thank you for allowing us to take some time on the campaign. Not at all. Thanks so much. Thank you.